Hello class. Um, my name is Professor Campbell. I will be your um, instructor for this course. Uh, it would be helpful if you had the Old Testament survey uh, course syllabus open as we go through this video. Uh, that will uh, make things make a lot more sense uh, as, I'm, as I'm speaking. Uh, the course description is very simple. Uh, we are going through uh, the Old Testament in a whirlwind fashion. Uh, we will be hitting everything from prophecy uh, to literature to poetry to narrative to law uh, and everything in between. Uh, we're going to be talking about lots of things uh, in the entirety of the Old Testament. So we'll give you uh, good coverage um, of all the major themes, books, ideas, uh, and some historical and cultural context uh, in which we need to study the Old Testament in as well. There are four course objectives for this class. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read them very quickly. The first is to summarize those issues related to Old Testament survey, as well as the genres, messages, and theologies of the Old Testament books. The second is to describe the broad storyline of the Old Testament, as well as the general purposes of every Old Testament book. The third is to compose an evaluative summary of various scholarly positions related to the Old Testament. And finally, the fourth is to apply Old Testament themes and texts to your life and to the life of your church. Because of course we want this class to be uh, academic and bookish in nature, but we also want it to be uh, ministry oriented and very practical for you as well. Uh, there are two course textbooks for this class. The first one is this. It is a survey of the Old Testament by Andrew Hill and John Walton. Uh, the second book, which uh, I left at my office today, is a book called Cracking Old Testament Codes, a guide to interpreting the literary genres of the Old Testament. And that is by uh, Sandy Brent and R.L. Guise. Uh, if you go ahead and look at the assignment section of your syllabus, uh, it, it lays out five uh, major assignments of the course. Uh, I'm going to touch on the first two, and please read the other three major assignments of the course. The first is class participation. Uh, you will be graded uh, based on your discussion board participation in the course. There are five uh, threaded discussions that you will be taking part of, uh, as well as myself. And those discussions will be during weeks 1, 2, 5, 7, and week 8. Uh, your participation in the five student discussion boards is critical to your success in the course. Uh, you will be required to post your initial response uh, to the question or the questions by midweek. And midweek for us would be Friday before midnight Central Standard Time, uh, which is the time right here in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, and you will also be required to read and respond to at least two of your classmates' initial posts by the end of our week. The end of our week will be Monday at midnight Central Standard Time. The second assignment uh, in the assignment section on the syllabus uh, covers quizzes. There will be four quizzes in this course with no final exam. Uh, that is a joy for many students now. Uh, the final exam uh, was taken out of the course uh, and turned into four quizzes. Uh, the feedback from students that I've had in the past, as well as students of other professors uh, here at Moody as well, is that the uh, the quizzes can be quite difficult, so it is best to thoroughly read the textbook, uh, and most of the quiz material will be coming from right here. So a thorough reading and understanding of uh, the material in that book will be crucial for uh, receiving a good grade on your quiz. Again, the, the quizzes are timed, and we are asking that you do not use any textbooks, including that one. 
uh, or any other online resources to complete the quiz. The quiz is just you and your mind, no other resources. Very quickly, the third assignment is the interaction with critical scholarship, where you will submit a paper that will focus on one of two topics of your choice. The two topics are listed right there in the syllabus with some following questions that you need to include in your discussion. Uh, then there are several genre analyses uh, that you will be doing in this course as well that will cover such Old Testament genres as narrative and law, historiography, wisdom, poetry, and prophecy. And finally there is the application assignment. Um, and you will provide a one-page description of the way in which one passage or theme of your choice from the Old Testament should inform one's life and the life of the student's church. Uh, further on down on page three is the assessment section of the syllabus that will tell you how you will be graded in the course. Uh, if you have any questions on that or anything included in the syllabus or this video, please feel free to email me. Uh, my email is just my first name dot Campbell uh, at moody.edu. That is also included in the uh, initial announcement uh, and contact information page on Blackboard. At the very end of the syllabus are some course resources. Uh, hopefully those are helpful for you. And again, it is uh, my honor and my joy to be walking with you all through this course, and I'm looking forward to our journey together. Shalom.